Hey guys, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, let's learn how can you add suffix and what is the need of adding suffix? Where is that requirement? We are going to see. Now the very first thing what we will do to understand this suffix, I'm going to pass this to data frames for your practice purpose in the description of the video. So please do copy them while you are practicing this. So I'm saying import pandas as pd and then if I'm going to print this data frame 1 and run it what I'm expecting there are two columns id and value with 1 2 3 ids and values abc now same thing if I'm going to print data frame 2 and run it what I'm seeing 2 3 4 xyz okay these are the two data frames now what is the problem here the problem is both of these two data frames id and value both the columns are same exactly the same now when you do a merge what would happen how it recognizes or how it really uh, ensures that the columns are coming from different different two data frames because the column names are same here value and value so that is where the suffix will be used so let me show you what we will do we'll simply say results is equals to pd dot merge and here let me first pass the data frame df1 and then i'm going to pass the second data frame df2 okay this is how you do a merge and here i'm going to say on equals to based on the id column you merge it that's all i'm saying and i'm going to print the results now if you hit on shift run uh, shift enter or run it what is happening if you see the id column right if you see 1 2 3 2 3 4 now here because it is doing a inner join what happened to the common data 2 and 3 here also 2 and 3 is there so what it has done 2 and 3 is the id which are common in both the tables and then from the left table 2 3 has the value b c right so here b and c has come and 2 and 3 in the second data frame x and y so x and y has come but if you notice the column has got a suffix underscore x underscore y now many times you don't want this x and y you want to give your own suffix now to provide your own suffix what you can do you can simply say use the parameter called suffixes okay now all of this are available in the documentation if you type pandas and merge right pandas merge documentation you'll be able to find i'm going to pass this link also in the in the description of the video now here there is something called suffixes in which using the parenthesis you can pass the values okay within the quotes whatever you would like to write now let me pass it so if i go back i am going to simply pass the suffixes within the parenthesis and here within the quote i am first saying df1 it's coming from the data from one and the second one i'm going to pass underscore df2 okay now if i'm going to run this what would happen now the column has got its own name based on how you have defined whatever string that you are passing accordingly it is going to appear so that is the useful uh, usage of suffixes anywhere you like to instead of underscore x and y which appears by default even you don't write it if you want to have your own kind of a suffix then this is what you will be using now what is the learning point from this video the learning point is pretty simple the suffixes parameter in pandas merge function appends suffixes that means add suffixes to the columns with the same name so anywhere the columns have the same name in both the data frames that is what it is going to append append means add right it will add the suffixes from the left and right data frame during the merge operation so that is the learning point and you have seen a clear demonstration of how it works in which condition this will be quite useful so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content